Right, good morning everyone. Now, what we've got here is uh, the new kit. I'm going to share with you the kit. This is it. Um, and we have 12 available and that's it. When they're gone, they're gone. Share with you what you get in your kit and it's quite a nice kit um, and a very, very good price. We have added in, even though the, um, we've got this fabric, but for those who want to may not want to use that fabric then you can use a plain one and put this picture on and this is our own photograph that we've it's on canvas so all you do is peel it back there's a paper back there just find the edge and peel that back but it's beautiful nice crystal clear and um, so you get that picture you're also getting a uh, Feathers, which are green and lemon, or creamy lemon. These are the marabou feathers. And we've added this fabric in for you because it's a canvas. It is gorgeous. And you're getting a nice big fat quarter of that. So if you don't want to use that particular picture, which is on canvas, then what you can use um, is find an Easter egg or something like that and turn it into an Easter book whatever you want to do with it but it's a beautiful beautiful uh, fabric you may want to cut these out or whatever you want to do so it's a nice big piece of that and then to fill the book we've got the wadding so we've given you a nice chunk of wadding which is big enough to do your pages Plenty big enough. You, your page won't be that big. Um, but it'll give you enough to do, you know, like maybe a padding on the picture like I showed you how to do the other day. And the inside, you will get this piece as well of that really super soft uh, woolly fabric to make your page. Like that. Really super soft. Right, so that's the book itself. Now, we're also giving you this. And I have to tell you, the kit is uh, £20 plus shipping. UK 445, that's you have to sign for it. And overseas is 780. I'll put that in the video. But we put lots and lots of goodies in it for you. So, let's start off with the larger parcel. In here, we've given you um, some Dewitt Hessian mesh. Uh, this is like um, a velvet piece. That's double. The uh, Oh, you can use that, sorry. I put that into you, uh, cover the... Put your fabric, your wadding, then that, and use the other one as a page. And then a really good selection of laces for you to play around with. So that's that. Then we've given you some tape measure, a pin, smaller laces, Jewett string and ribbons. Three different ribbons. We've given you um, a tab that says handmade. Some buttons, scissors, centres that Tatty made, flowers selection of buttons there you do have a stick pin kit you've got also I uh, we've I've made these the handmade ones they're just you know to hang from the book if you want we've given you some pins some stick pins but some pins to thread all your beads on a good variety of beads butterflies roundels crystals and um, you've got some of these the um, bead caps some wide ribbon, smaller velvet ribbon, some Dewitt ones and another smaller ribbon. Appliques, strings, wool, beautiful lace, doily. And then this is, I love this because this is what the kit's all about. And I'm going to share this with you now. Because it's a working kit. You're getting a thimble, okay? So you have your own thimble. 
you're having a set of pins, um, a set of needles, sewing needles, tape measure, and this. Love it. And if you're not sure what it is, I can tell those that don't know, your own pair of scissors. And these are steel scissors. Uh, if I remember that, that's it. Really good, but they fold it, fold up. I like that. And then they sit in their own little container. Um, With a lid on and it's a fabulous kit it's a working kit and all households should have a sewing kit so lots and lots of goodies for 20 pounds all of that plus this that's a great deal i'm going to use the same kit I also might want to use some other bits and pieces as well because you don't have to use just what you've got. So straight away, oops, there's my feathers. Not sure if I, really, if I will even use them. I might do. So I'm just going to put them there. The first thing we need to do is to pop Uh, the wadding on the fabric. Now, I'm going to decide which piece of the fab, well, how wide I want this to be. You know, in depth, I mean, from top to bottom. I don't think I need my book any bigger than that. I don't. So that does leave you with plenty of fabric left to do another project. You might want to make a little bag or something. See? So, now, I don't need it that wide either. So what I'm going to do is, this is the end. I'm going to get the width of my book. Probably no more than that. That needs another little bit for something else. Make a flower. Okay. We turn this over, that's the right way. Now I'm going to cut my wadding. See, just fits perfectly, doesn't it? And keep the wadding you cut off because it'll come in handy for something else. Let's have a look. Yeah, I like that. Now you can cover your book however you want to do it. It's completely up to you. But what I'm going to do, when I get my uh, glue in, I'm going to do mine. Let me just straighten this end up. I'm going to do mine like this. Plenty that side, plenty that side. Fold, this is how I'm going to do mine, but you can do yours how you want. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down the middle, just the length of the wadding and then fold that over. And the reason why I've done that is because that's just going to support and hold that wadding in place. See, holding it in place. And then I'm going to start from the bottom and work up like that. So I'm just going to do that. And it's handy to leave the lip like that. Now, don't glue the middle section. So you only need to do just before it. Like that. So leave the middle section, about a finger space. And then we're just gonna do that. Now, 
turn that the right way uh, sorry turn it the other way do exact same thing again this is the middle section finger there there that's a really nice padded book now to do the ends let me just move this this way right so I'm gonna do it like that so I'm just gonna glue that like that like that do the same on this end like that and then we turn that over and you get a really really neat edge like that okay So you can do, what I'm going to make now is exactly what you can make with your kits. But you can add to it if you choose to, or you may not want to. So there we go, we've got that. And when you fold that in half, it's a lovely stick pin sewing book. Now we need to cover that, and like I said, with that um, you get... Let me just see what I did with mine you've got the other fabric let me just show you you've got that fabric this one to do the inside um i haven't got mine with me i don't know where mine is so i'm just going to use some of this and i may need to use a bigger piece so just let me get a bigger piece here we go so let me just see i need to cut that straight really to be honest Oops. And then I'm just going to make sure that I cut enough of it. This is one I just like mess about with, but because it's for me, I'm not fussed. So we can straighten it all out after. So I need to glue that on there. So what I'm going to do is pull that back. Now I want to do this as close to the edge as possible. And I can go back and put some more glue on if I need to. Okay, so I put the glue all the way around and we're just going to pop that fabric onto there now and flatten that out. Now, of course you're, you can cut yours first. I didn't because I didn't know how big I needed it. But um, to try and neaten it off, if you fold it back like that, because you can cut any excess off later, You know, you can tidy that edge up. Like I say, you can do all your measuring and everything and do yours up front. But I'm quite happy with that. I've got a little pocket here and here where we can get into it. I'm going to glue that down a little bit more. So that's our book. I'm happy with that. It's 
quite nice actually nice and padded right so now I'm gonna put a little bit more decoration on mine and to do that I'm going to use um, you get this is mine I've cut mine down but you yeah that'll do but you have a, a bigger piece than this so first of all I just want to fray mine a little bit both ends and it's 12 inches wide So I'm just fraying it for decoration. So I'm also going to fray it this side as well. Might need to trim it down a bit, but that's okay. I'm going to do a couple more. I'm not frightened of uh, doing quite a nice frayed, frayed edge or anything like that. Now... I don't really need to trim mine off, although I want to even it out a little bit just there. It's just for me because I'm a bit iffy about things not being even. <coughs> right, so I'm going to have mine here. And again, I won't be gluing it onto this spine bit. We have to keep that separate. So I'm going to need... Now just swirl your glue around a bit because that will protect it from fraying any more. And then pop that down. I'm going to pull it a little bit further this way. Like that. Try and get the glue down the edge so that it does protect it. And then we don't want it on the spine, as we said before. But we do want to make sure that it gets glued down <coughs> like that now I want my picture here so I'm actually going to cut mine down a fair bit so mine can sit on there yes I like that now let me just wait and see yeah Right, I want to tie that. So in your kit, you've got some ribbons and you've three different colours. You, there we go, there's another one. Right, so in our kit, we've got three different ribbons. And I'm going to use all three because I love these ribbons. So I need to cut those in half. Let's just do that like that. Make sure they were level. And then cut them in half, taking three. Now, what I do is knot them on the end. Just give them a little knot. Like that. Trim that off just to make sure the level ish. And then we just a dab of glue on that. And you need one of your buttons. And we put these in that we used uh, yesterday. Oh, let me just get that out. Nope. Not that one. Here we go. Nope, not that one. Oh, we did put more than one in. Here we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's just take the back off. You put the knot on. Like that. 
bit more glue over that and press firm your button take any excess off that's okay flip this over because you do need to keep it the same Clip that off ready. Um, let me just get these ribbons again. Let me see, little knot in the end. Trim them. Now, we need to line them, them up, put them about a centimetre away from the edge, so a centimetre in, at least. Here's my button. Plenty of glue on that. Wipe off the excess, you do need plenty of it to stick. Push that down, wipe the excess off. Like that just wipes off straight away and straight away you've got your ties so for now I'm just going to tie mine they're plenty long enough we give a meter of each like that flip it back make sure you get the right way now I'm going to add my picture but I want to decorate my picture It really, look at that, isn't that pretty? Really pretty. And you've still got plenty left to play around with. I love that. That is gorgeous. I don't want to hide the button or anything like that. This is just an added texture to it. But, you know, you can always do it here. You don't need to do it wherever, because, you you know, oh, I might want to do that. Let's do it there. I can see these. We do it to one side. I like it there, actually. Sorry. So I'm going to put that on there. But like I say, if you wanted to use uh, a different picture, then you know, do it. It's completely up to you now to get this right. Like that. I love that picture. So, now with this piece, I'm going to add a little touch of, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna look quite nice there, down the middle and around the back. So I'm just gonna take that off here. Still leaves your piece to play with. And put this straight down the middle. Oops, don't go there. Like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. 
Now I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with the outside of it, so we're going to work on the inside. So here's my book. And what I need to do for that, I'm quite happy with that, I'm uh, not fussed at all. So there's the spine, the middle of the book, and I've folded that page. So down the spine of the page, I'm going to pop the glue. Drop that in. That has to fold over like that. So I'm going to have a page like that. So that's fine by me because there are needles and whatnots can go in there. And that's all done now of course I can trim up all of that and I've got some of this which you've all got this in your kit so let me just measure this out perfect I just need to do that again to the same length And this is like a vintage lace. And I'm just going to trim the bottom section off. It's a tool, a netting, like a tool. Okay. Right, sorry, I just had to change batteries. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is to attach this onto the page. Just basically for decoration, that's all. Nothing more. What I'm going to do is, oh, I've got a button here. Now, you've got a selection of buttons that we've put in uh, on this one, which is the handmade. So that will go onto the back. And all you have to do, I'm going to put it here so it can be seen. Like that, handmade. Tuck that back under. Now, with the button and the string, we put you some duet string in, and if I can thread this, yeah, just cut yourself a bit of string, thread it in from the bottom section. Now, push it back, double glue underneath. Because this is just decoration, basically. And then wipe it off. And that will keep that on there. And then what you do is you make your bow. And then you glue that anywhere you want it to be. 
I don't want loads of it showing. I'm just trim my bow. That's fine for me. Keep your bits of string, it'll come in handy somewhere else. Now I'm going to put my button here. Because I want just the decoration side of it there. Um, then we've got an applique. Now on the other page here, we can just put that on there for decoration. Okay. I'm going to put it diagonally like that. Uh, diagonally, you know, that way. And to that, I've got another one of those fancy buttons. But actually, where's my other one? Here we are. We've given you some of these buttons. They're absolutely gorgeous. Pop that in the middle. With that. You basically, all you're doing is decorating what you've got. And that's that. Now in here, um, we've given you the beads to make up your stick pins. Where's that? I don't seem to have my whole kit here. <laughs> you have. Don't worry, yours is done. I don't. Where's my bag of kit? To get into my kit. And the bits and pieces that I have. Let's have a look. So, let's do these bits first. There you go, and we've got a couple of pins made up ready, like that. I actually like that button, so I'm going to put that one on. I've got one of these, so what I'm going to do now is to cut like a little doily. like that flip that over like that and then we can now glue the little button on in the center just like that for decoration you can add lots more pins in here or whatever it is you want to do make sure that hasn't gone over it through there that looks nice there um i've got all my bits and pieces that I want to put into my book. Um, I'm going to add in my tape. Actually, the tape measure I'm going to put in the back. In this little pocket here. So then you're not fidgeting around for it. Pins in here. Um, let's just get the bits off. Tape my pins. Uh, do I want to do that? This is the way I want to do it, so I have to be careful here. Oops, where have we gone? Uh, no, I'm going to do it here. So, I'm going to put the pin in there. Let's just... Like that. Then thread... All of my pins on. Pull that back. Push that back into the book. There we go, and then pop that 
back on like that. I'm not sure if I caught that. Look, I missed the hole. But never mind, it's on. So we've done that. Now, regarding the scissors, here we go. I'll pop them in a little bag. And then that can sit in there. Um, and like I say, you can keep little, all of these bags, we can just pop in. If you're giving this as a gift, you know, it's, uh, you're going to fill it with lots of goodies. Now I'm going to take this bit of string. Oh, and we've got to put that in as well. So we'll pop the thimble in there. I'm going to thread that through like that. Just cut that. Um, add the remaining buttons because it's just for decoration basically but can be used there's another little button there there we go so we've just got a little collection of bits and bobs and all I'm going to do is to put them in here on there like that taking one of our buttons that on top of there just looks like you've got your little bits and pieces I'm going to scrunch them up a little bit I don't like it like that there we go it's all just for decoration and where are we Oh, you've just got lots of different things. Now, we've got this. Now, of course, we'll go back to the front. Let's just make the flowers. I'm going to put mine on this end, like that. Um, take one of these again. Put that in the middle like that. I hope you're seeing this. And Tatty's made these gorgeous sensors, and I'm just going to pop that on. 
It will hide some of the petals, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to use it. But I think it looks lovely there. another one just in here now like I say I have given you some feathers and um, I'm going to trim these down remember I've shown you how to do it you when you cut the set top section off if you don't want too much just slightly take the bottom leaves uh, feathers off don't get them stuck to you so they don't come away from you because they get all over the place. We're just going to make little um, picks with them sort of thing. It's just easier to handle and you get a better feather. Okay. I'm going to stick one in here. like that and the one that you've cut off that looks like a uh, I always say they look like butterflies I'm just gonna snip it again oh, wrong scissors just snip it again take the bottom sections off so you've got something to grip in your hand pull them together like that and I, I never like to waste anything now, a lot of people will throw that away if they've only needed to you and just do that and it gives yourself a little pick but you can't tell it's been cut out I'm just going to go like that now um, let me just see whoops that come off sorry I didn't even see that had come, come off. Now that was silly. How did I do that? I've knocked that somehow, haven't I? Ugh. I don't know when I did that. That was a bit silly. Go back. Just pop it back on. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You know... See, that's pretty. Isn't that a pretty book? You know, it's just completely up to you. It is filled. Filled with lots of lovely goodies for you to craft with. And make a really nice gift for somebody. And I think that's a great kit for £20. And um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I could go on and on and just keep filling it up and filling it up. But it's up to you to do yours. Run the shop now and go grab your kit. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.